But see, I can't, I can't, I can't stay going. Even though I have been, I've, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, that Jesus has paid all, but I can still reach it. There are still processes that I must, that I must pass through. Are you following? Yeah. Are you following? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, so Jesus purchased for us through his blood, Daniel, he purchased for us what? Redemption and the forgiveness of sin. So when you stay here, you're no longer what? You're no longer condemned. Amen. The Bible said, therefore, now there's no more, no more condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. They are not condemned anymore. Amen. But they must be reconciled to God. Amen. Amen. They must be adjudicated as right. So here comes the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Here comes the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Holy Spirit said, you know, for me, now this all happens seamlessly. You know, I'm going to divide it up to make it look like it's in three stages, but it all happened at the same time. Here comes the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit said, listen, for you to be able to sit in this heavenly places, you need to be regenerated. Remember the conversation that, that, that Jesus had with Nicodemus? Nicodemus said, you said to us that we must be born again. Do you mean that we need to go into our mother's womb to be born again? Jesus said, no. This is what? From the Holy Spirit. You know, brother, you can't reach there until you have new life, new birth. What the Holy Spirit does is he gives you new birth. Amen. 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 You see, when you are here, yes, you, the penalty for sin is already paid for. You are forgiven. You have remission of sin. But if you don't, if you're not born again by the Holy Spirit, you still can't take advantage of that. Are you following? Yeah. So now Jesus, I mean the Holy Spirit said, okay, I was born, I will make you born again. I will take that old spirit that was in Adam and exchange it. Amen. And put it to you. This new spirit. Amen. 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 First Corinthians 15 says the old man Adam was a life, was a living being, a living human being. But the new Adam Jesus is a life. Giving spirit. So the Holy Spirit said, I'm going to give you a life giving spirit. Hallelujah. Because that new spirit, Daniel, must be like God in holiness and righteousness. And that can only be made by the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit said, Okay, I am going to give her the new birth. Amen. Amen. I will give her the new birth. But Jesus said, Whoever is born, Spiritually is what? Spiritual. Right? It says, so the natural man cannot receive the things of God because they are what? They are spiritually discerned. Jesus said, and I will say to you the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, when he comes, he will take from what is not and reveal it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the Holy Spirit gave you new breath. But that's one part. The other part is what God does. God said, okay, now, you have been born again. You are born again. You have a new spirit. But I don't want to wait for that new spirit to grow. I want to give you all the rights and privileges that pertains to a child. So what I'm going to do, Heavenly Father, you are the Heavenly Father, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adopt you. Mm. Amen? Amen. I'll write a, it's a legal transaction. Where I say, okay, even though she was not in my family before, Amen. but as of today, now she's become a part of my family. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible tells us in Ephesians that this that the heavenly father has ordained, he has destined for us to be adopted as children. Amen. 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 So what does he do? In order to do adoption, you need a lawyer. Mm. Mm. Amen? Yeah. Who is a lawyer? Jesus Christ. Woo. And he comes and says, okay, I'm the lawyer. And I sign on this paper that this lady is free to be adopted. Amen. Based on what I did on the cross. Amen. When I paid my when I, when, when I pay my, my blood, when I share my blood, Amen. by reason of that, yes. I'm adopting her. Amen. 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 Yeah. I'm what? Adopting her. So here comes now this person. Send me here. Who is he? he can, the newborn, right? What does he have behind him? Huh? He has Jesus' blood. 
has taken away his sin. He has new birth from the Holy Spirit. He has a doctrine from the Father. Amen. Now he's follows out to what? To slide into this realm. Not only redemptive dominion, now he has victorious dominion. Amen. He is victorious. And this new man, come. Oh, go to your seat, guys. Go to your seat. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, it's not so much more about you trying to mangle your way to you know to like weave your way. It is like you already have a secure position. All you need to do is to grab it, take it, claim it, and say, I am that. It's for me. Amen. See, if I went and bought a car for you and give you the key, but you refuse to take mm. the key, mm. you're not going to use that car. No. So you must appropriate everything God has done for you. Uh, are we following this morning? Yes. Yes. Are we following this morning? Yes. You see, what God does, what Jesus does, he doesn't just leave you there. Hey, he said, listen, what happened in the Garden of Eden is not going to happen anymore. Amen? Amen. What happened to God of Eden is not going to happen anymore. Amen. Amen. Because listen, in the God of Eden, Adam was only what? A living being. Yes. Amen? A living being. What do we have? A life giving spirit. That's what we have. A life giving spirit. In other words, the old engine that was in the car was defective. Amen? Amen. Now you have the new engine. Mm -hmm. That new engine has been made to look like God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Are you following me? Yeah. And you don't have to be afraid. I think people were afraid of the enemy. You don't have to be afraid because in this position, God has given you all the resources of Daniel we need to be safe. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. He said, first of all, he said, he said, anything that is born of God. Overcomes this world. Yes, Why? Because they have a life given spirit in them. Yes. There is no way the enemy can take that spirit oh, and mold it over him again and make it his subject. Yes. Why? Because that, that spirit is the one, a life given spirit. And yes. Jesus spent 33 years on this earth mm. prototyping that spirit. Mm. Hey. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. That though God, he thought it now robbery to be equal to God. He made himself of what? No reputation. He took his own glory and put it down. And said, Father, give me your glory. I'm going to take it now and go and make it into something, into a life-giving spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And then when, I, when I'm finished manufacturing that life-giving spirit, it will be tested and tried by all kinds of things. By temptation, by hunger, by this, by that. That thing has been tried. In Jesus, it's been tried. 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 That's why he told the people, don't touch me. Let me go first. And report this new engine to God. So he goes to heaven. He reports this new engine to God. He said, God, now I have the life giving spirit that I have manufactured. That you help me do all of this thing in me when I was on earth. Test it. And see if it is good. God tests it. He sees it. He said, ah, it's good now. He said, okay, let's give it to the Holy Spirit to carry it back down. Amen. He said, I must go. Because if I don't go, the spirit will not come. So what you have now is a life-giving spirit. But not only that, it says, and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty. To do it. To the point down of what? Grace. Not only that you have a life-giving spirit, but Jesus gives you weapons that are mighty. Okay, that's not sufficient. He said, okay, I'm going to give you another weapon. He says, I'm going to give you this weapon. And Isaiah says, no weapon formed against you so prosper. Because of the nature of who you are now, no more nature, no more weapon against you is going to prosper. It cannot prosper. In fact, if you really believe me, all you need to do is stand. 
Just stand. Stand. Not an enemy that is shining his eye boy and the lion that is coming against you. Just stand. Stand firm. Yes. And he will flee from you. Yes. For whether you come from the tongue of the enemy is yeah. doing something to you. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. And now he said, I'll give you dominion. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I want many more children to come to me. Mm. So, patient, I'm going to give you a charge. Mm. And I call that stewardship dominion. You see, and sometimes he took, he looked at Moses. Moses said, Moses, I want to take these children from Egypt to Israel. So I'm giving you a stewardship. You take them. You take them. And Moses said, you know, I can't, I can't speak. He said, okay, I have made you gods unto Pharaoh. Hallelujah. And I'm going to make your brother Aaron like an interpreter for you. You will speak. He will tell them and I will do it. So listen, everyone in this room this morning, God has put some special stuff on you. Hallelujah. It's not to make you look big, proud, arrogant. No. In fact, there is only one place that I know of where mighty men rise up. There is only one place I know of. There is only one place that, 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 that mighty men rise up. All mighty men rise up from underneath the mighty hand of God. Yeah. Bible says, and therefore humble yourself under the mighty hand of the Lord, and he will lift you up. And the place. Every mighty man rise up. That's the only place. Only from a humble place. Oh, the Bible says, blessed are the meek. Mm. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For they shall inherit the earth. Mm. Amen. 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 So begin to see your life in a different way. Get up tomorrow morning and tell yourself, I am not an ordinary person. I am a life-giving person. I am a life-giving spirit. You see, there's no one more little mistake with that spirit. And that, that spirit is, really, is living in a body that is still weak. Amen? Amen? And so when you read the book of Corinthians, it says, even creation itself is still groaning for what? The deliverance that is still waiting for. You know, words, when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, everything we know on the earth was subjected to him. So even though our spirit has been born again, we now have a life-giving spirit, but we still have this place that is weak. Woo! And so in Galatians, it says, Lay by the spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of God. That's what happened. There's a secret, Daniel. You lay by the spirit. Don't be afraid. You will never gratify the desires of the flesh. Yes. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ is capable. The Bible says, and the word of God is active and sharp on the end of double edges. Yes. You need that word to give light to that spirit living in you. Am I speaking to somebody this yes. morning? Yes. That's what dominion is about. It's not about giving you things to wear. It's about telling God, God, you call me like Bezalel. That I may go now and create everything. Lord, I need productive dominion. Because you have put something in me that I need to come out. You see, God gave us all a charge. He called Bezalel and said, you are the one who are going to design everything. In the temple. He called David and said, You're gonna leave my people, but Solomon will build my temple. He called Moses and said, Moses, listen. If I go out of place, said, Moses, listen, I don't want to have any more discussion with you. Enough of this. Enough of this. You and I are not going to have any more discussion. You're gonna die on this mountain just as your brother Aaron died on my home. Why? Because the two of you brought shame and disgrace to me. He said, but call your servant. 
call my servant Joshua. And I, and the two of you should present yourself in the tent of meeting. Amen. And I will commission Joshua, and he will lead my people. Amen. Are you following me, people? Yes. Are you following me this morning? Yes. That's why we need those three levels of dominion. If you have the chance, come to Bible says and beg you. Mm. If I have more chance to talk about that, I can do Amen. 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 You see, in productive dominion patient, we get there by obeying God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see, go back to the Genesis, Genesis account. It says, and God blessed them. Right? Mm -hmm. And God what? Amen. God blessed them. Yeah. And then God said what? Be fruitful and multiply. Let's say, fruitfulness and multiplication comes from being blessed by God. Hallelujah. But there is no way you can be blessed by God until you are first of all obey God. Yeah. So you know, it says, if thou were diligently hacking on to my voice, if you become obedient to what I say, then I will bless you. And when you are blessed, then all the other stuff is going to bless. Amen. 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 That's what productive dominion is. Yes, sir. Amen. I will say, and this Daniel, this Daniel, in whom live the spirit of the Holy God. Ah, I'm still waiting to see the man and the woman in whom the spirit of the living God will be. I'm still waiting to see what God is going to do that person. Oh. None of you here are even much, you know, you have not even reached 2% of your potential. You have not even reached 2 potential of your, the, listen, if everybody in this town begin to say, you know what I mean, that in unity lays the spirit of God. That's the testimony you want. Amen. That's the testimony you want. In unity lives. This is the same of Daniel. Amen. It says everybody took note. Because he taught. He didn't teach like the way the other teachers taught. Jesus. He taught like one having authority. Amen. They turn to the early disciples and say, You're trying to make us guilty of this man's blood. Mm. They said they are on school men. They are men who never went to school. But they could pray. And whatever they prayed was shaken. Listen, people, we are shut changing ourselves. There is still a place in your life, patient, that the, the living God needs to take. I am going to be afraid to see you because now you're going to be something else. Amen. Listen, the Bible says God has chosen the church so that through the church, the manifold wisdom of God. You see, what God wants to do this with all of us is he wants to take us and demonstrate he said, he said to the praise of his glory. Jesus said to, Jesus said in the book of John, he said Father, I have completed the work that you gave me to do. Therefore, glorify me with the glory I have with you from the beginning. Listen, glory only comes after completed work. Mm -hmm. You see? And your obedience must be complete. Your obedience needs to be complete, Daniel. For blessing to flow. You see, when I went, when Abraham was going up that mountain, carrying his son to be crucified, God was on the other side of the mountain, bringing the bringing the the the, 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 the ram to be sacrificed. Every time Abraham took a step, God took a step. Every time Abraham took a step, God took a step. And when he got there, he was about to slit his own son throat. God said, "Holy, obedience is complete." See, he talking to Abraham. He said, oh, Abraham. He said, because of what you have done. Because you did not withhold your one and only son from me. In blessing, I will bless you. Amen. And the one who bless you, I will bless anybody who curse them. I will curse them. Because you have completed Amen. obedience. Amen. Amen. Hey. Amen. Are you a big amen, people? Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm, I'm longing for the time in this church when God's people operating in God's spirit will win the city for God. Hallelujah. We're not just here to go to work at 8 o'clock and, and come by 5 o'clock and go and sleep and go to Macy and Newman Marcus. 
Oh, one man. They call it cheap one. Man. That is not the intent, my people. Look at your friend and say, there is a purpose of God on your life. There is purpose. If you gave me the chance this year, the Lord gave me the chance to, I will tell you what he's telling me about these things. Amen. Amen. Oh. I'll help you understand. Amen. Not me, but the spirit of God living in me. Amen. Yes. By reason of the prophecies that have come in this church about me, not me. This morning I was praying, God, open the eyes of your people. Because the enemy has blinded our eyes. Mm -hmm. There is a light in the church. There is a light that's supposed to be in the church, but we no we are no longer seeing that light. Mm -hmm. Many people in the church they are far from the life of God. Mm -hmm. They don't even know what it means to know God. Mm -hmm. They think church is just coming Sunday, praise and worship. Go no. It's more than that. I am praying. And there will come a day in this church, Pastor Esther, that as we minister like this, life will be given. Amen. 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 So, this afternoon, life is the only thing given. Amen. 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 Those of you who work in the nursery, you will walk in that place, and anyone who sees you will become well. Amen. Amen. Because in you live life giving spirit. Pray for the day that in your company you will be the reason, like, like Daniel, that there will be success. Yeah. They will ask the question, what shall we do? They say, who else can we give it to? Mm -hmm. Francis, in whom lives the Spirit of God. Yeah. Pray for to Joseph, who else can I give this to? Hmm. Who else can I trust with this? You're the one in whom the Spirit of God lives. You're the one he gave all this understanding to. I can't handle this. You can't handle it for me. See, this Joseph in whom the Spirit of God lives. said, this Joshua was full of wisdom because Moses laid his hands. Are you following me? Amen. Am I making you hungry for God? Is it? Uh, yes. Amen. If you're hungry, why don't you stand up? Let's pray. Amen. Lord, I'm hungry. For you. Lord, I'm hungry for. You. Amen. Oh, I know there is a charge for me to keep. There's a place for me in your work. There's a place for me in your ministry. Lord, help me. Lift your voice, lift your hands, and let's pray that prayer. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Redemptive to me. Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. In fact, he said, you know, like, if you still feel very scared, patient, I will give you an armor. If you're still afraid, I will give you an armor that you can wear. <laughs> Amen. It doesn't get you not sure, but I, was, I can still give you an armor that you will wear. He said, put on the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. Let your shoe be fitted with the gospel of peace. Yeah. No one can go through the armor. He said, and the swarm of the spirit. Just in case you are afraid, I can give you an armor and nothing else to finish you. The shield of faith. Yes. Because everything we need, the Bible says, for life and godliness. Through the precious promises He's given us to the Son. Raise your voice once again. Let's just thank the Lord. Just thank Him. Thank Him for what Thank Him for His redemption. I'm blessed, Lord. I'm blessed, Lord. He says, my grace, you are being saved through faith. And that out of yourself. 
It is a gift of God, not by works, but I know what we boast. In Romans chapter 4, he tells us, it is by grace so that it can be by faith. Oh, come on. Lift your voice. Lift your voice to the Lord. Tell him. Say, God, I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out, Jesus. I do not want to miss out. I can't stand to miss out. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. 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 Somebody here this morning. Yes, let me see. Take away, Lord, the blindness I have. Lord, there is something stopping me from seeing God. Take away my blindness. Take away my blindness. Take away. I need to see, Lord. Lord, help me to see. Take it away. Remove it. Remove the veil. Remove the veil. Let me contemplate your glory, God. Remove the glory. And they contemplate your glory, God. Remove the veil. Remove the veil. Remove the veil. Remove the veil. Remove. 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 Help me to see. The Sarah says, Open my eyes, Lord. I want to see Jesus. Open my eyes, oh God. I want to see Jesus. Open my eyes, oh God. I want to see Jesus. To reach out. To touch him. To reach out. And to touch him. I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. see Jesus. Lord, your people are dead. There are so many dead people on the streets. Make me an instrument. Make me an instrument of rescue. Make me an instrument of recovery, Lord. That I, Lord, there will be a vessel that you can use, Lord, to recover all your lost people. Oh, Jesus. Make me Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to ask you to do one more to just raise your voice and just thank him. Thank you for what you what he has done for you. Thank him. Raise those voices. Raise those voices. Raise the voice. Thank you. Thank you. 